Hey guys, welcome back to Raw Healing Tarot. My name is Kayla, and today we are doing a timeless channeled messages from spirit that apparently you need to hear right now. I have a lot of guides that are um, have been coming through saying that there's a very specific message from guides that need to come through for whoever listens to this video. So this is a pick a card style reading. I feel like I have to do five piles. So that's going to be a lot. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty hefty. Um, I also apologize for the very uneven lighting. I did not want to set up my softbox. <laughs> so, uh, you know, one of my goals is to get into my own space this year and have a dedicated space for YouTube videos. That way everything can be even and look good and aesthetically enjoyable for you to watch. Um, so that's my goal is to just really ramp up, you know, the aesthetic quality of what I'm giving out to you guys and uh, probably invest in a new microphone too, I think. So, you know, a lot going into this channel this year. I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I do want to do a spring prediction for all signs. That was my goal. That's what I thought I was going to do next, but I'm just getting a clear vibrational frequency of there are very specific messages that need to come through. So this is a timeless reading. Um, you know, whenever you click on this and you feel drawn to watch one of the piles, it's when you are meant to hear it. Um, hopefully it, this is when it resonates the most with you. Sometimes you'll watch this video and be like, I don't really know. And then like a month later, you're like, oh my God, <laughs> um, it happens to me a lot. So I, I definitely recommend that take no you take notes, uh, especially if there's specific numbers or dates that pop up, um, you know, take some notes and just follow up with yourself when, and see, see what comes from that. Um, you know, so this is a general reading. If you guys notice that some things maybe don't resonate with you or do a lot or whatever, you know, take what does, leave what doesn't. There's something in here for everyone who watches. Um, sometimes you have to watch half of pile number two and the other half of pile number three and you never know. <laughs> you really never know. So trust your gut, trust your intuition. This is a great way to learn how to listen to yourself. Okay, like really learn how to listen to yourself, tap into yourself, tune into your energy and your guides and what they need to, what kind of messages need to come through for you. Um, and I think, nope, that's not it. Okay. <laughs> um, so just a little disclaimer, you know, this is a, this is general. Again, I would really appreciate it if you guys understand that, you know, you need to take responsibility for yourself. Um, you have free will, so whatever's coming through now might be like a current energy or something that you're like currently manifesting, um, and you have the free will to change that in any direction that you so choose. So even if you don't really like the way something sounds, but if it's really resonating with you, maybe you sit and think to yourself, you know, okay, how, now that I have this knowledge, how can I go about changing things and going in a different direction? So, um, so there's that. And if you want to book individual readings with me, you can do that. Um, my Instagram handle is at get raw underscore with Kayla. So you can go through there and DM me and book a reading. If you do not have Instagram, go ahead and comment below and I'll get in touch with you and we can figure out a way to connect. Um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I know there was something else. I know there was something else. Okay. Well, not right at this moment. It'll pop back in, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in. So let's go ahead and take a look at your piles to choose from. All right, my friends. So welcome. Welcome to your channeled messages. Um, you know, messages from your guides that you need to hear right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys your piles. Up here in the upper left, we have pile number one, which is winter. Pile number two, the medicine guardian. Pile number three, Earth Mother. Pile number four, Sun. And pile number five, Moon. So take a second, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, get quiet, and just ask for what you need to hear right now. Ask your higher self, your intuition, your guides, your angels, whoever it may be, tune in and ask for what you need to hear right now. And once you do that, We'll go ahead and scroll on down to the timestamps that I have in the description and you can get started listening to your reading. Hey, pile number one, what's going on? Welcome to your reading. <laughs> um, this is a channeled messages from your guides, your higher self, your intuition uh, that you needed to hear whenever you clicked on this right now. So if you picked pile number one, you picked winter. 
which is depicted by the wolf and take care of your needs. And I just think this is so fitting for right now because where I'm at um, in New Jersey, I currently have a beautiful fresh snowfall happening right now. So I'm just seeing all these snowflakes around here and being reminded of the beauty in stillness and alone and alone time, you know, um, a lot of people I feel like have issues with winter, especially if you live in a climate such as myself. Um, you deal with the cold and this feeling of death and stagnancy and oldness and all this jazz. But I, I really feel like you're getting encouraged to look at this from the perspective of the wolf. Like, just look at how natural and beautiful everything is about this animal and how, like, imagine being a wolf. You're, a wolf might be your power animal. It might be one of your spirit animals or your guides that you need to meditate with or connect with. Um, but I'm getting this vision of a wolf in the woods where it's snowing and just the silence and the wolf is part of that silence so the fact that you have this beautiful powerful beast that is so comfortable and content in that silence i feel like they're really calling for you to find that contentment and peace within yourself especially with the take care of your needs um so we're gonna go ahead and pull some tarot cards now i don't think i've ever used this deck on this channel before but this deck says it like it is so i feel like you guys need um a harsh reminder and i didn't i don't want to use the word harsh but that's what's coming through so we have the mirror wow yeah you guys are getting called to do some major introspection right now major introspection i mean and plus like the number 12 so two plus one is three this is like your spiritual team literally telling you like you need to dive so deep right now you need to just take time to connect with nature especially and for those of you who are really in tune with like animal spirit guides look into the heron look into the heron that's a very spiritual animal but you're being called to do some really deep introspection um, some of you are being called to do a shamanic journey as well so just know that if that's something you have yet to explore um, you know feel free to ask me any questions because I do that relatively frequently um and just do some of your own research but they're saying like you need to really truly do some deep diving right now there's something in your psyche that's being called that like that's calling to you that really needs attention right now and like what i'm getting from this is like it's almost like they're not they're not even asking like she's holding the mirror and she's not even looking at it she's just completely and totally tapped in to the power and the energy of like nature and her intuition and she's just listening she's really listening and you're being told to dive really deep and listen right now guys this is just a time even if you're not listening to this in the winter time they're telling you to take that mentality about the situation that you're currently in take the mentality of like this stillness and this quiet in order to connect and reflect and gain some knowledge from your inner self and really truly um connect with nature specifically yeah so you have queen of vessels reversed and then you have the page of arrows on top so what i'm getting from this is that you really are just not in touch with your psychic self right now you're not in touch with the things that make you happy and make you feel fulfilled and abundant and fresh and lively you're in this space of like okay i want to go but i don't know where and i don't know how yet so but but i, I want to go but i want to mm, there's a lot of like stuck energy and you guys like see the possibilities in front of you you're feeling this the expanse and the space of the openness and you have this like fresh energy but you like don't really know what to do with it your direction feels kind of blocked right now yeah and queen of bows reverse you're you're not listening you're not listening to yourself and that's why you're just like you're so set and stuck on what's out here that the world has to offer me or where am i going or what's next or how do i you're just you're overthinking <laughs> overthinking um and just really really stuck in that space of not listening to yourself that's why this is up right in here they're like do the deep dive introspection like you you need that um more than anything right now <sighs> yeah okay get rid of everything that does not serve you right now clean your house out get rid of some clothes um you know do some like deep cleaning get rid of stuff that you're not using get rid of stuff that isn't purposeful to you clear house 
like uh, the, the sense I'm getting from here right now is like understand what is useful to you and the rest of it needs to go just get rid of it get clear of it um and that's like incredibly straightforward so I feel like whoever is whoever picked this pile is very intuitive and is very um like spiritual in the sense that they really know how to listen to themselves which is why you're getting this call to action yeah you're not you're just not being patient with yourself right now. Take a big, deep breath. Take a step back and understand that you need to fill your own cup. You need to balance yourself. You need to take care of you first, okay? Your happiness needs to come first. Everything else will return to you, all right? You are going through a cycle right now where you just need some deeper introspection and space and alone time. Get out in nature. I could say this for everyone, but you are getting the clear message that that's what you need to do to reconnect, especially with like Temperance's foot being in the water and this being reversed is like, you're not there. You're not connecting. You're not in and part of nature and the things that are so healing for you and the things that make sense to you and you understand. Um, yeah. When you do that, it's like you get this new sense of like, accomplishment and okay I know where to go and I know what to do and I have the tools to do it I spent time cultivating space for myself I'm good all right so very concise and now I want to get a sacred rebels message for you guys to close this out and see what whoa okay twenty four new birth guarded vigilantly Wow. All right. So already with all the green, right? All the green. Four plus two is six. Six is the number of unconditional love. It's like you guys are going to come out of this space with this concept of like rebirth and connection to nature and self-love and connection to self in a way that maybe you didn't even anticipate, but it's like deeply needed, but it, and it's deeply rooted. Like you do, you do understand how much you love yourself and how much you cherish yourself and your ideas and the things that come from you and knowing how powerful they are you know all this you know all this so they're just really pushing you and reminding you like take some time and space for yourself allow that soil to kind of become rich so you have space for this new creative idea this new birth of self and guard that protect it set some boundaries put you first okay put you first guys clear loud and clear loud and clear okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if this resonated with you please give the video a big thumbs up um you know make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date with everything and if you want to book me for individual readings um reach out to me on here you can comment and i'll get in touch with you or you can go to instagram and go to my page at get raw underscore with kayla and you can book me through there as well um i do have a new hoodie launch with my clothing line so i'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can check that out and i think that's about it for now but again thank you guys so much be well and i'll see you in the next video hey pile number two what's going on thank you so much for tuning in this is your um, you know, urgent messages from spirit guides or your intuition, your higher self, someone's coming through for you guys and you're getting so much, so much heart, heart chakra energy, love, um, you know, twos, decisions, like there's just a lot of energy coming out of this card right now. It feels very gentle though. It's like you're calling in and asking for some help and some healing energy. So you chose the medicine guardian, be open to healing information. Okay, I feel like you guys are really asking for this right now, especially like the gold I'm getting, like you're in a space where you're, you're asking for a lot of healing energy. So whether you're kind of going through something that's really tough right now, where you've just been in a space that you just don't feel like yourself lately, you're asking for a lot of guidance and healing messages. So I actually want to read that for you guys. Let's see. Here we go. Listen to what's coming up within you and what is being shared with you by trustworthy others in your life. Pay attention to healing information. Healing angels can help you heal emotionally, spiritually, and physically with their energy, but they can also direct you towards information that will help you return to wholeness. When this card appears, information is being revealed that can help 
heal an aspect of your current situation, whether that be your health, relationships, or even career, so be alert for this. The medicine guardian has a caduceus, caduceus? Wow, please tell me if I mispronounced that, a healing wand, which represents the capacity to heal with the power of will and desire, and a chalice, which represents returning to a state of wholeness, a state where your cup is no longer full, but overflowing with goodness. The emerald color of the card represents the healing rays of Archangel Raphael and his healing angels. So some of you do connect very well with um, Raphael and maybe need to talk with him and communicate with him and hear from him. Um, so I am again getting asked to use... This deck is a little rough around the edges sometimes, so I'm surprised. If you guys need some like healing messages, they're like... Okay, they really... Something's got to give. Something's got to come out. Something very specific for pile number two. Okay. Yeah, five of stones, endurance. You guys are going through something really tough right now. And like the beautiful part of that, um, the beautiful part of this is that you know that you can weather the storm and endure the storm. It's just the fact that you're going through it right now and it's, it's tough. You're consistently having to stoke your own fire. There's a lot of shit going on around you. There's some chaos. Fives are usually stand for challenges too. And with stones, um, it's the pentacles in this deck. So you could really be dealing with like a job loss or like a loss of home or like moving or not really knowing where you're going next. Could be a lot of instability and feelings of instability, but you know and understand that you are capable of enduring. Um, we're gonna get to this in a second. Okay. And the page of arrows reversed. The journey and the two of bows decision so some of you feel like you were kind of forced out like forced to fly the coop is what I'm hearing like and especially because there's a lot of bird energy right now it's like you feel like you didn't have a choice in the matter you feel like you kind of just got pushed out and you're being forced to go on this like rapid paced life-changing journey like right now and like you're just a little bit overwhelmed and, and terrified honestly I'm getting a lot of like anxious feeling and you kind of got thrown into something you don't feel like you had a choice in the matter um, you you don't feel powerful you feel like you didn't have the ability to make the decision so you almost feel like your power got taken away from you um, but you're starting to realize and understand that that's not necessarily the case just because you do have the power to endure um, and your angels are just sending that as a clear reminder right now. Like, you you have the power. You guys have the wheel. Wow. Whatever space you just stepped into or feel like you got pushed into is going to be so good for you. You're coming into a space of balance, of understanding that you have, you are surrounded by people who will help and take care of you. You do have abundance. You do have stability or you will. That is something that is coming in the near future. But what I'm getting, especially with the wheel, is that it's the universe's way of saying like, just watch, just watch. We're creating something for you. Just get balanced. Just understand like where you need to balance, where you need to like, okay, bring the anxiety down a little bit, calm yourself down a little bit, find some rest, find some recuperation, Use the tools you know you have and just create that sense of balance for yourself. We've got you covered, okay? And with, I feel like some of you are not listening to your guides. I feel like some of you are very spiritually in tune but are not allowing messages to come through or you're not connecting with your guides in the way that maybe you normally do or that you know you need to do because there's energy here that feels like it's like knocking on the door, like let me in. Let me speak with you. Let me communicate with you. And this could just be like you and your higher self. But some of you have specific guides that are like, we want to talk and communicate with you. So please, 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 please <laughs> open up. Just open up. There's some like really serious. When I get this card, it's very serious, old, ancient knowledge that has to come through and has to come forth. And for some of you, this could have a lot to do with your healing. For some of you, I'm getting it's physical healing that you're in the process of doing. Um and you feel like you are just at all odds with regards to this process. So you're literally reaching out and asking for angelic and spiritual help because you don't know where else to turn. You're like, guys, please help me. Help me understand what I'm going through. Help my body heal. They want to. They want to be there with you. They want to teach you how to heal yourself. And they want to work with you. You have to let them in, though. You have to let them in. You have to trust. 
no matter what your situation is, you have to trust your gut, your instincts, yourself. And for those of you who are clairaudient or who do communicate with your guides a lot, open yourself up to them a little bit more. Create some ritual space where you can get clear and listen to them. All right. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Just spit one more out at me. Yeah, you guys are feeling you are in a state of lack right now. You're like, how the hell do I connect? How do I connect to this healing energy? This I feel like for so many of you, this is specifically with regards to physical healing. And you're just like, I know I can heal myself. I know I can work on this myself. I know that there's ways to get through this, but how, 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 how? If you are even remotely interested, remotely interested in learning about something, let's say all of a sudden one day you're like, I'm really interested in juicing. I wonder if that would help me. Do your own research. Make your own educated opinions. I am also not a doctor. So go to your doctor too if you feel so called to, but I really truly believe in making decisions for yourself. So do research. Find out what's interesting to you. And if you're in a position where you don't think that like you can just jump into like, you know, like fasting for 24 hours or whatever and you need to like seek medical advice first, then please go do that. But your spiritual team has a lot that they want to impart on you with regards to like whatever this is, whether it's like your home and housing situation um, or just this feeling of like feeling like you're enduring something or maybe you felt like maybe with all of this health stuff, you just felt like you got dealt the wrong hand or you didn't have a choice in the matter. It just happened and this has forced you on this like super spiritual healing journey and you're waking up to a lot of this. Um, but this is helping you build a foundation for a much stronger future, guys. I'm definitely, especially with like ones, I'm seeing ones, fours. There's a lot of like foundational energy with a new beginning on like on the horizon. But you have to trust yourself and you have to dive deep into your self-love. Can we talk about which one this is? Okay. Thank you. Free from judgment, free to love more of that green energy guys this heart chakra energy you are so beautiful and you are so loved and you are capable of not only doing that for yourself but for others too okay understand that you are the one who frees yourself from judgment you are the one who frees yourself up to give love and to receive love okay your your angels are talking to you a lot right now and really getting that sense they're talking to you a lot they're trying to connect with you and Met, like meditate with them guys meditate with the intention of talking to your angels and your guides um but i'm definitely going to read some from here because this seems pretty important okay this oracle brings you a message about love you may find that you are loving or soon will love in a different way you may worry about this love given that it defies what you have known or been taught about love Perhaps you are becoming able to love another tremendously, even though you don't have much of a personal relationship with them. You might question if this love is real. It is real. It's just happening at a different level to the love and attachment you experience when you are involved in a personal relationship with someone. It is not more or less. It is just a different facet of love. It may be that you're opening up to the love and the planet and her creatures, including the animals, the ocean dwelling life, your own body, the trees, and so on more than before. You may feel passionately purposeful about giving your time and energy to causes that protect and nurture the earth and her creatures. You are affirmed in this love too. The Universal Mother is operating through you to nurture life. She will support you in your work so that you can continue to come from love and not become drained, depleted or lost in despair or fear of futility. Instead, you will be energized and expanded by your dedicated service to life. I feel like some of you are really getting asked to dive deep into your nutritional habits. Um, they're really like they're showing me a lot of like nature and plant and animals and how nourishing they are to us as humans because we are part we are all part and one of the same so they're asking you to look at your um to look at your like nutritional habits a little bit more also i feel like you guys need to read this book the energy codes it's by dr sue mortar i feel like there's something in here i mean i think everyone should read this book but i feel like there's specifically something in here for you guys okay so Pile number two, I hope that this resonated with you. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. 
And, you know, if you want to book personal readings with me, you can do that on Instagram at get raw underscore with Kayla or go ahead and comment um, under in the, the comments section and we'll figure something out. But, you know, I hope you guys are well and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, pile number three. How's it going? Welcome to your channeled messages. You guys picked the Earth Mother. Feel loved and comforted. I'm getting such a beautiful feeling of transformation for you guys the like especially with all the butterflies i'm getting and i'm getting this like overwhelm of like feminine energy and nurturing and like motherly earth energy like this is i feel like whenever you're listening to this you guys are are truly connecting in deep with nature and yourself and your divine feminine and you know this is for whoever guys girls like doesn't matter you guys are just tapping into that nurturing energy that you you need everyone needs it and a lot of people actually don't realize how much they need to give it to themselves so you guys are really learning about your power of being able to excuse me give this energy to yourself okay um, now you guys it's interesting because I felt like this deck had to specifically come out for you so we're gonna see what animal energy guidance you're being called to pay attention to right now what animal medicine you need this deck i mean this deck this pile definitely feels very um nature specific and nature drawn like you guys are definitely asking your animal spirit guides for some guidance or you're just really tuned in to nature could be an earth sign thank you <laughs> can't make this shit up guys oh my god what did i just say about the butterflies oh my god that's fucking beautiful and number nine like you guys are stepping into such a beautiful space right now and if you were questioning it this is your sign to not don't don't question it wow you guys are going through some massive, beautiful transformation. If not, like you are in that space and you're just expressing the gratitude for being there. Um, and the number nine is like, you are so close. You are so close to that, that new cycle. You're still learning a lot. You guys are still learning so much and you're um, retaining a lot of information, but wow. Holy shit. Transformation. The power that butterfly brings to us is akin to the air. It is the mind and the ability to know the mind or to change it. It is the art of transformation. If you look closely at what butterfly is trying to teach, you will realize that it is a never ending cycle of self transformation. The way to discern where you are in this cycle is to ask yourself, and this might be good for you guys to write down. Question one, is this the egg stage? Is it just a thought or idea? Question two, is this the larva stage? Do I need to make a decision? Question three, is this the cocoon stage? Am I developing and doing something to make my idea a reality? Question four, is this the birth stage? Am I sharing my completed idea? By asking yourself these questions, you will discover how butterfly is relating to you at this moment. When you understand where you are, the symbol can teach you what to do next to continue in the cycle of self-transformation. And obviously you guys, I think, are just very much so like in that space of understanding self-transformation and, you know, all that fun stuff. But holy shit, that's so beautiful and so powerful. All right, what else? What else do you guys need to hear right now? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Five of Wands, so there, so maybe if you came into this kind of wondering like, am I doing the right thing? Am, am I in the right space? You feel like you're being challenged a little bit. And whether that's with regards to like your healing and your growth and all that stuff, you're definitely feeling, you're feeling the challenge. <laughs> you're definitely feeling it. Wow, yeah. And with the Nine of Wands, it's just like, okay, like, like looking back, like looking back at everything that you've like dealt with and gone through, you're just like, am I at that point yet with the nines? You're like, am I, have I made it yet? Am I getting towards the end of the cycle? You're getting the clear yes. You're getting a very clear yes of like, you're so close. You're so, so, so close. 
okay? Listen. <laughs> uh, so close, wow. Just be patient with yourself, okay? Tune back into this Earth Mother, this, the feeling of being loved and comforted and nurtured. Like, I feel like you guys are right at that bursting point <laughs> in that stage. Be patient with yourself, okay? Be so patient with yourself. Acknowledge how hard you've worked. Acknowledge how you've overcome every adversity that's been thrown at you and everything. Like, you're, you're getting asked to just see how much you've worked through and just be patient with yourself, okay? You're doing a really good job. Um, just tap into that feeling loved and comforted, that self-nurturing space. Yeah, come from this King of Pentacles space. This sitting on this comfortable throne of like, okay. I, just you, you are confident and you are comfortable. I am getting strong like Taurus vibes, um, you know, like Earth, definitely Earth signs. But whatever's coming at you, whatever's getting thrown at you, like... It's, it's coming fast. It's coming in hard. You just feel like you're going through it right now. You really feel like you're going through it. They keep asking, like, just tap, tap back into this nurturing space, okay? Give to yourself. Fill up your own cup. Be patient. And just deal with each one of these as it comes, okay? Each one of these, just deal with it as it comes. Just deal with it as it comes. Sometimes in the most mundane spaces is where a lot of the healing happens. All right? I feel like you need. Thank you. One more. it's almost like you guys are like waiting for something to just present itself like an opportunity or a sign you're just like like just <laughs> i need something i need something they keep drawing me back to this card they keep pulling me back here. Nurture yourself. Mother yourself. Create space for yourself in that divine feminine energy and give to yourself, okay? You are going through a giant transformative process. There's a lot to be taken into consideration right now, but you need to just stand strong, okay, in yourself and feel solid in your foundation, okay? Go connect to earth. Go, like, put your hands in dirt. Go get connected to nature. Let's get one more Sacred Rebels Oracle for you guys. Any last words of encouragement or guidance for pile number three? Wow. 30, the perfection of your life. I love this healing process. I love, love, love this healing process. Um, this is just also such a stunning card, but basically this healing process it asks you to imagine that you're standing at the silent center of a great cleansing storm. All aspects of your life are rained upon, blown about, and messed up. How do you feel? The storm passes and you are left with soft sunshine and slightly soggy feet. Some parts of your life will have been washed away. Some others will be strong and stable. A bit messy perhaps, but still there nonetheless. How do you feel? Think about that. Finish this practice by saying, I give thanks for the higher order of my life, which I trust implicitly, as it guides me into wholeness and love. From that which appears as chaos, new order is rising. I trust this and receive the gift of higher order in my life now, through grace and mercy, so be it. Yeah, you guys are just getting asked to weather that storm, view the beauty of your life, like get go get grounded in nature. That's been a pretty overarching theme, but definitely for you guys, 100% with all the nature cards. So that's what I have for you, pile number three. Thank you so much for tuning in, please. Uh, hi, guys. Pile number three. Sorry it cut me off, but it was basically just my ending point of, hey, if you like this video, please like it, thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you want to book an individual reading with me, you can do that via Instagram at get raw underscore with Kayla or if you don't have social you're not on social go ahead and comment on here and we can figure something out but thank you again for listening I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one all right what's going on pile number four welcome to your channeled spirit guide messages reading you guys chose the sun 
all right enjoy success and happiness and i feel like this is it could be a couple things one the message i'm getting is it's a reminder to enjoy your success enjoy your happiness when you feel happy when you've accomplished something like revel in that like amp up that vibe and that energy and those feelings and truly live in this space of that sun energy super bright um it's funny because i just lit a water incense so my first thought was you guys might be water signs you might have like some fire signs in your chart but i feel like you're just getting that push um you know to just be super happy and excited enjoy the success and happiness that is being brought to you right now um and the other thing too is i feel like this could be like on the horizon for you you know like you guys are something big has happened or changed and they're just like enjoy it like now's your time to enjoy it um you guys whew, i felt called to pull one of these for you this is from the white light oracle there's a definitely a much lighter more vibrant happy vibe with regards to this pile um not that the other ones were like bad or negative but this one definitely has a brighter lighter feeling so if you guys clicked on this and needed like a boost i feel like you're definitely getting that pearl of sharo wow i have not pulled this one yet okay so let's see what we're working with here i'm gonna read from the book for you and i'm gonna go ahead and show this to you a little bit more um wow i'm getting a lot of very strong like strong divine energy right now so you guys could be asking to be like working more with some spirits all right so the pearl of sharo taking responsibility for your experiences empowers you you are going to resolve an issue through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance you will rise up in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure that which has brought darkness into your world shall submit to the light and be transformed have courage and commitment to your awakening for you are a precious being and can go far on the spiritual path this lifetime yeah so to me this is just saying like you guys are really tapping into some very strong bright energy you're like infusing light into all the dark you're taking a, st a bold stance to stand up for yourself and say okay shadow self it's time to integrate like dark stuff time to integrate like i'm coming at you with love and light and there is nothing you can do about it <laughs> except integrate <laughs> um but that's a really 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 freaking cool message so props to you guys if you're working with your guides right now um to truly like integrate that part of yourself um you know you're just you're on a spiritual path right now i think you're learning about it a little bit more you're diving deeper into it trusting it owning it okay and this is coming from a place of like some kind of some kind of loss like you guys have grieved something recently you guys have moved past something moved on from something recently and it, it has there's like an end of some kind of collaborative effort so this could be a couple things one you like separated from a relationship um two there was some kind of loss that you're dealing with it could be job related it could be friend related something but you know you're really you're in a space of grieving right now and they're saying that's okay and you need to do that and accept it but i think that's why you're getting pushed and guided towards all this bright energy right now because i feel like this was kind of recent and you might be like overcoming that right now yeah okay so some of you went through like a breakup and i think for those of you who this is specifically relationship oriented this is about like a breakup or an ending of um an ending of some kind of relationship it might not even be romantic it might be friend or family related or work related but they keep saying like under you still have these cups to be filled over here like you know not all is lost just because you feel like you're starting from the beginning doesn't mean you actually are i don't know why that came through so specifically but it's like just just because you feel like you have to start from the beginning doesn't mean that that's actually the space you're in like they're really telling you to focus on cultivating that like strong sense of self and light and come out as like the bigger person there yeah page of pentacles there's like you're being offered a lot of opportunity either now or sometime soon and that's kind of what's helping you like tap into this sun energy and tap into this like very 
there's is a very strong balance of masculine and feminine energy in this card to me there's a lot of divine feminine but so much strength that's coming from that and the realization of self and like what you have to do and what's being offered to you and you also know what you have to offer so you're kind of stepping back into that space of like I know what's I know what I have to give and I know it's good you know so if this is with regards to like a work situation um you know or like a romantic partnership whatever the case may be like knowing that you have a lot to give and knowing that you shouldn't settle for any less okay that much is very clear <laughs> and by focusing on that is is how you build your future you know it's how you cultivate and build those pillars of happiness for yourself and then you're able to share that with other people okay and I also want to get you guys a Sacred Rebels Oracle to close this out. This was a little bit shorter than the other ones, but I feel like um, I feel like it was just very straightforward for whoever needed it. Focus on the light. <laughs> you can't make this up, guys. You can't. All about that light sun and sunflower, that light energy light energy focus on the good okay focus on the good and the brightness of your future and yourself and what you have to offer all right so 37 you could be 37 37 could be an important number to you but i'm seeing seven and three is 10 and 10 is just the number of like endings of a cycle and one is like that new beginning that fresh start so by focusing on the light especially within yourself okay and learning how to integrate integrate all of that strong energy that you have within yourself you're going to be able to move past and through all of this and just build like start building 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 and creating this ground for yourself this stable loving ground um so that's all i have for you pile number four thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate you guys listening and taking the time out of your day to hear what's coming through um, so good on you. If you want to book an individual reading with me, you can follow me, follow me on Instagram at get raw underscore with Kayla and you can DM me and book through there or you can comment here if you're not on social and we can figure something out. But go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please like the video if it resonates and I will talk to you guys soon. Pile number five. What's good guys? Hi. Hello. Welcome to your um, whoo messages from your spirit guys i'm getting a lot right now all right so i'm just going to jump into it you guys got the moon take note of intuitive messages i'm getting so much solar plexus and heart heart center energy right now like you guys are very full of knowledge right now okay you're really listening to yourself there's you're getting some intuitive hints and drops from your guides and like you're listening inwardly um just oh there's so much coming through there's so much coming through. Hang on. I feel like I have to read whatever's in here for you guys. So if you could just give me one second. We have page 126. Wow. This is just very, very, very energetically strong. Use your intuition. Practice discernment and see through illusions and blockages. The moon is strongly associated with the divine feminine and the energy of receiving. If the sun is God, the moon is goddess. And so she offers a powerful energy of polarity and balance. She has a cyclic energy and is therefore strongly connected to emotions, which often come and go in waves, and to somewhat interesting behavior. So when the moon appears in a reading, you are often being told that not everything is as it seems. The moon has a dark side, just dark, not negative, and can show you what you've been kept in the dark about. Okay. I feel like there are some questions that y'all want answered. There's a lot going on in your mind right now. You have to listen to yourself, okay? Like, just listen to your intuition throw your ego in a corner for a minute and be like just take a seat and get super like in touch with the divine feminine like don't question yourself just let things come through okay like let your guides come through let your intuition come through just to feel like you have a lot of listening to do go ahead and meditate get into like some trance like states take notes oh you got the shaman okay so some of you some of you are really being called to do some shamanic work, whether that's like a shamanic journey or to connect with a specifically a shaman or to just connect more with your guides. But I feel like this video is really specifically for my very spiritually like in tune people because all of these messages have been very spirit based. Um, yeah, 
tap into some shaman energy guys like do some research whatever you're feeling called to do that's coming up for you dive deeper dive deeper connect with some shamanic energy um you know maybe right now you feel like you just uh, i feel like you're feeling incapable of enduring the storm and you're just like there's a lot of chaos and like lack of structure and trying to figure out like what the fuck is going on i feel like you're in a space where the universe is not it's not super open to you because you need to open up to some other other factors right now you need to listen and take in a lot more and learn a lot more before you can move into the, like the next phase the next stage um queen of stones the bear bear energy so you guys are definitely being pushed to tap into that like divine feminine energy okay a lot of like protective strong energy you definitely have to do some like nature work this is like a resonating message with almost every pile like you guys need i feel like your spirit animal may or may not be a bear your totem animal one of your guides like meditate choose to meditate with the intention of meeting your spirit animal there's definitely a lot of guided meditations on youtube for that um but some of you do need to just meditate with bear energy and see what you learn from that i personally encounter a like shamanic bear um in some of my journeys so this is like resonating very strongly for me but there's some there's more that you have to learn there's more that has to be seen and understood in order for you to kind of move forward but they're saying like you you are within this energy the queen of stones the queen of pentacles in other decks is this like very sure-footed strong capable independent person being um and just like trusting that trusting your instincts trusting your knowledge especially with the bear and, and instincts and intuition okay yeah someone is not someone is not what they seem or they're not being very honest um with them with with you about themselves okay i'm getting some like cancer energy but there's this energy of like watch your back okay someone's just like not being fully honest with you maybe being manipulative like emotionally manipulative um i'm getting like i don't know why i'm hearing cancer for this one yeah, listen, listen to yourself. You're in a situation right now where because you're not listening to your intuition about someone, like a circumstance, I'm feeling like a someone though. Um, the world is kind of like holding back gifts that it wants to give to you and like the life that you like truly want and desire because you're still allowing yourself to be in this space of like not paying attention and not listening to yourself and not like thinking clearly because you're being very clouded by some like emotional manipulation right now. Um, that's why they keep their like here, be here, you know, embody this bear energy, really like get in touch, get in touch with the bear. You're like, you're off your path right now. Um, you know, you're kind of looking for like answers from like different places. You're not really facing your true north because there's a, too many other factors that are coming into play. So they want you to like really get centered, talk to your guides listen to yourself, take note of the intuitive messages. Let me see if there's anything else that needs to come through for you guys, because this is just very... <sighs> Whoever's guides are speaking through me are like, they're, they're, <laughs> I physically feel their spiritual presence is very much so, uh, it's here, it's here. Yeah, they're like, you're not, you're not paying attention. You're not listening. You're not looking, okay? whoever needs to hear this knows you guys know i want to get um an oracle message for you guys because i feel like there's this one's gonna like resonate really deeply whatever it is wow big bold vision you guys have a very clear idea of, of who you are and what you want and who how you see yourself as and you need to you need to reharness this. Maybe make a vision board or something, guys. But they're like you you know who you are and what you want, what you deserve, what you desire. Fifteen fifteenth of February could be very important to you. Okay, six is also a big number. So either the sixth of February or just six in general is a very um, it's the number of unconditional love and power and beauty. Um, so with big bold vision, it's like hold this vision of yourself. Okay, really hold this vision of yourself in the highest regard. Take that into account. 
Who? Okay. This oracle brings you a message. You are about to receive or be invited to become part of a grand visionary beginning. It has the makings of something fantastic. No matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds, there will be some twists and turns that you don't see coming. It is still helpful for you to be open to it. Trust your heart. Be still with your choices. And when the time feels right and truthful, leap. All right. And for the healing process, say, I release all blocks to my vision. I release all beliefs, conscious or unconscious stored in my body or mind that would have me belittle or minimize myself out of fear or ignorance. I choose to be bold, big, and bright, to vision with my heart and receive all the genius of the universe in supporting that vision, in coming to life. So be it. If you got to pause the video 10 times to say that, do it. Seriously. <laughs> okay, you guys, your guides are like, whoever whoever receives this like knows exactly what's going on here because i feel like this all just came out of me really quickly and i barely remember what i said so it was just channeling a lot but thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for trusting me and listening um if you liked the video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and if you want to book an individual reading with me you can do so um right now i do it mostly through instagram at get raw underscore with kayla or if you want to comment on here because you don't have social and you want to figure something else out we can totally do that but for now i hope this finds you guys well whenever you find it all right this is meant for you whenever you find it so i greatly and deeply appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video